So now you might want to be able to convert between time domain and phasor domain because in the previous video we saw that we could take some time dependent sinusoidal source or some traveling wave that's time dependent and um, spatially dependent and we might want to be able to convert back and forth between the instantaneous form of the wave and the phasor form. And there is an entire table and this is in the Ulibi textbook. Uh, but you could find this anywhere and there's there's uh, many tables that describe how we can transform between the time domain and the phasor domain and we can see from the phasor domain in the time domain that this is going to make some things a lot easier for us right so for example we can see that instead of doing a derivative we could just multiply it by j omega in the phasor domain so as another quick example, let's return to that circuit that we initially looked at that had a capacitor in it. And from your circuits class, you should remember right, that we could get the voltage across this capacitor by doing this integral. Now, you know, integrals sometimes can be tricky or you just might not want to, to do it, but we can see that this could be done very quickly if we were in the, the phasor domain, right? We might be able to work with a very complex set of equations in the phasor domain quickly and easily because instead of having to solve for something that includes an integral we've converted that integral to this multiplication where we have uh, this one over j omega as the integral form so converting back and forth between time domain and phasor domain can be quite simple you have a table that helps describe all of these things this is in a textbook where you can uh, search it out online and phasers will help us solve complex circuit problems such as this as well as other complex problems that we might see later on in our electromagnetics course. Thank you.